Happy New Year everyone! It's 2019 today. Um, I wanted to take just a moment before we dive into this painting um, and just say thank you. Um, I really appreciate each of you following my channel on YouTube and following me on other social media. I appreciate the support that you have given me throughout 2018 and I really enjoy uh, when you leave likes and comments and messages, um, it really helps me to be inspired to continue to make the videos and share what I am doing with you, my process and my art, and I really appreciate each of you. And um, I have some big plans for 2019. I am hoping uh, to expand my studio space a little, need more room to work, hoping to teach in some different places this year, and teach some new workshops this year. So uh, I would love it if you would like to share what your art plans are for the new year in the comments below. And uh, I really enjoy reading those. So I thank you each and every one and I hope you have a great, wonderful, happy, prosperous new year. And now we're going to dive into this painting. Okay, this is a uh, painting that I had started last year. And that is one thing that I'm going to concentrate on in the new year. Is I have a lot of started paintings that just never were finished for whatever reason. I didn't like them. I put them away and forgot about them. So I'm going to work on this piece and I'm really not happy with it. So no fear. Dive in and sometimes the older paintings are the best pieces to use as a fresh start. So I'm using one of the R&F oil pigment sticks and I am going to dive into this painting and warm it up and just do some painting. So I will paint and see where this goes very intuitively with no plan in mind. had some some ridges and valleys and peaks built up so that is what is picking up this is a dry piece because it is an older piece we will just see where this piece goes This is an ash blue made by Charvin, which is a beautiful, beautiful color that I enjoy using.
always like using my fingers for blending. already being transformed. This is Gamsol in a spritz bottle. Sort of lift and let some of the older painting show through. Also gives you a little bit of texture or pattern. kind of leaning towards a landscape feel at this point, I think, which is okay with me because I really enjoy doing abstracted landscapes. So yeah, that may be how this piece ends up. time to time and look at your work, see where you might want to add things.
a beautiful celadon green in the R and F pigment stick. It's very soft, a very soft, subtle color. with your tissue paper. It's a wonderful way to soften edges and do some subtle blending. And transfer color from different places. This is a uh, cradled panel, panel, a 24 by 24, I think. a matter of covering and uncovering and excavating back through. Do a little subtle mark making with this skewer. Not a lot of, of painting 
this this piece has been totally changed and I think that I'm going to stop for today on this piece and let it dry just a little bit because it's very wet now that I've added the uh, oil pigment stick and the fresh coat of paint and then I will come back to it tomorrow and see what else I decide to do to this piece. I hope you have enjoyed it and Happy New Year!